the live long day, all the live long day. I'll be moving along, singing my song, running around, ain't nothing wrong. Hey guys, this is a quick video tutorial on how to do your makeup like this. I'm definitely not a pro. 80% of my Instagram photos are with no makeup whatsoever. I really do like to do a bit of touch-ups for, for example, TV appearances. Today we're filming Dancing with the Stars practices and I have a few meetings, so I don't want to look all dead. I am here with my coffee and my coconut water getting ready for the day. Today I have dance practice and a couple of meetings, so I will be doing my usual natural makeup and showing you the tricks. So my biggest issue is always under my eyes. I feel like I look a little sick and tired if I don't cover them. They're always a little reddish. So I have this color correcting concealer palette from Isadora. Uh, and I use the dark circles or the anti-redness, either one on my eyes or the lids under my eyes and I'm a bit tan so I don't need a lot of it at the moment but I feel like in the winter I always need a little more and on top of that I will use the light touch concealer we it's not finding it anyway <laughs> I use that one and I usually spread it on my upper lids as a primer for eyeshadow as well. And blend. Always remember to blend. That is one thing I have learned from sitting in a makeup artist's chair. You always need to blend a lot. So I also covered, or kind of like, yeah, covered the like the size of my nose and I have a bit of blemishes here due to the time of the month. <laughs> so I also took care of that issue. Then a bit more highlighter. So we're working on the base now. Where are we here? Anyway, this is the glossy glow stick and just put it like Places where you want to highlight, so I put a bit on the bridge of my nose, on top of my lip, cheekbones. I'm foregoing foundation today, even though I have a bit of blemishes, but I don't like wearing um, very thick layers of makeup when I ha I'm practicing or training, of course, sometimes Sometimes for TV you need to wear foundation for training as well, just a zip of coffee in between. Okay, and then, ooh, this is so much fun. Stick and brush. My two favorite shades, I use them both. You can just use one, but I'm not using um, any, uh, like, tanning powders or anything like that so I'll use the bit uh, lighter shade on my like the middle of the face and then the darker boho blush this one was called pink poetry and this is boho blush breath blush boho blush <laughs> I'll use this here uh, underneath my cheekbones and the best part about this is that there is a brush already. So I can kind of do the base work with this. This is super creamy, not sticky at all. So this, that's what I love about this blush because often I feel like these um, blushes are very kind of, or these thick blushes, they're very kind of like sticky. So this is just creamy and nice. And as I mentioned about the blending, I use the face buffer just to give it a final blend. Make it very natural. So there, now we're done with the base. Then some eyeshadow. This is my favorite palette at the moment. Uh, it's called uh, Boho Browns. And they're all a little shimmery, 
I don't mind shimmer and this one is my favorite shade so I use it when I'm just going somewhere during the day I just use this on my entire lid then the lighter shade in the corner inner corner of my eyes just to give a bit of wider appearance for my eyes you can also use the lighter one I mean the bit darker one underneath your eyes I use this one it's very fine but sometimes I also had this just to kind of like blend it even a bit better but these are nice light easily blendable shades so not that big of a deal which one do you use but this feels nice on your eyes okay so we're done with the lids now we need more coffee and my second most important part of doing my makeup my eyebrows they are from my dad so they are very thick and dark so I don't need to do much with them but they are also very wild so I always need to brush, brush them otherwise I'll end up looking wild Lol. and this uh, sculpting brow pen it has kind of like this creamish consistency for just some lighter parts of the brows to make them even. I can see that the sun has made some parts of my brows a little lighter, so there we go. That's done. The mascara. I also have quite a bit of lashes, so the most important thing is to get a bit of curve there and this is enough for me. I don't need to use the thingy that hurts your lashes. <laughs> again sometimes if you want a more natural look you can just use brown mascara it's all well too and we'll put a bit of fixing powder before we do the lips I just use this big big brush so this is to fix the products on my face and then prevent it from shining too much. So a bit of glow on your face is always nice too. And then finishing touch, classy nudes, or classy nude is the name of the lipstick. Uh, it's Lip Desire and I love it because it has this edgy point so that I don't need to use a liner. And I think this must be the prettiest shade in all history. I just love this. It's 55 Classy Nude. All right, then I just need to do my nails with a natural uh, quick dry polish and we're done. The name of the polish is Bare Beauty. And that's the look we were going for today. So thanks for watching. And I hope you got some tips and tricks and ideas and will do your own makeup and please send me photos of your own natural beauty makeup. Bye! And fun fact, I wasn't wearing my pants all this time. <laughs>